Hundreds of thousands run into this situation yearly, removing vinyl flooring so they can install new hardwood flooring. Our situation has an added twist, but you'll still get the gist. Typically, vinyl flooring will have a thin underlayment below it. But how it was attached to the original subfloor is where the mystery begins. Some can be glued, stapled, nailed, or screwed, or a combination of all four, and who knows what else. Once all the tack strip was removed, there was a faint-hearted try to remove the vinyl on its underlayment first. But a quicker solution was to set the depth of the circular saw a bit deeper than three quarters of an inch and begin cutting the area into two by two foot squares. As it was discovered, both nails and screws were used to attach it, but not an atypical overkill where hundreds were used. Next, all it needed was some brute force along with a flat spud bar where the sections were removed a bit easier. However, the screws still had to be removed as they remained in the subfloor.